hello it is may 5th 2022 and i am going over my goals again yep <laughs> so we will begin with this lovely little box with this lovely little list from middle school a lot of these are like very like to make my Broadway debut. Haven't done that. To have a show off Broadway. Haven't done that. We get the Broadway point. I about Broadway. Nah, I could care less about it at this point. So we're just gonna brush past it. And <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. To marry someone with a unique last name. I still don't know why that's like on the list, but yeah. <laughs> to be a voice actor in a movie. Oh my god, I still wanna do this. Still wanna get still gotta get a selfie with an Meryl Miranda. I don't know why, but on more than one occasion, more than one person has told me that I've looked like Lin-Manuel Miranda this year. Not like in my normal apparel, like when I was wearing my costume for As You Like It, which looks like that. And um, when I was wearing my dad costume for our lovely little family pictures, um, which looked like that. And um, I... <laughs> I don't see it personally, but um, a lot of people apparently see it, and I think it's a little funky. Oh, this is so weird. Like, it's like, it's like, when I was writing this, it's like, I didn't realize, like, how much my life would really shift to help others who love theater but can't afford it by teaching them and helping them with acting. Act I think, <laughs> um, I love going back to this one every single year, because, like, it really, it really is one of my passions to like teach different like areas of like theater and like dance and like other things and um with the way that things are looking me and natalie who is one of my friends in college um we want to um restart the improv group that was here way way back um so i get to help out with some improv things and like teaching improv and that'd be really fun I did a little dance workshop at the beginning of the school year and then I didn't do that anymore. But I might be bringing that back next year with Night Theater, so we will see. I really love teaching, I really do, and um, eventually one day I really hope to like, I don't know, be like a professor in like theater or something like that. To play a lead role in high school, I did not play a lead role in high school, but I did play Mr. Orlando Du Bois. De moi, de, whatever uh in um uh, as you like it last fall and that was the biggest role i've ever played in my life in high school it was like one of those things where it's like oh i really want to be a lead role and that's all you want to work towards and you know and then you kind of like get to that point after being in the ensemble for so much like i've been in the ensemble for like 20 plus shows before getting like that role and it's it's weird. I don't know. Like, being in the ensemble, it just, it, I just always feel a lot less stressful. And I could do, I don't know, whatever I just want. I, I don't know how to explain it. The vibe isn't the same. It's not everything I always thought it would be. And that's okay. Because I am more of an ensemble kind of gal. And that is another reason why I really like improv and why I'm starting to do that a lot more and why it's kind of my jam because it's not about who's in the spotlight. It's about everybody working together to create something realistic out of something that isn't. And if you're in the spotlight, you're really not doing it right because it's, it's not about that. It's about just working together and being a team player. And I started doing things with Second City with that, like and taking classes with them and um, I wanna do more with them and I kinda wanna see where I can go with them because it, it felt like a very safe space to be learning like what I wanted to learn with improv and I learned it the way that I learned best and it felt like the kind of theater I've been searching for for a while. To stare into someone's eyes and tell them that you love them. Um, yeah. 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 The second to last one on this list is to go to New York, and I still have not, and I'm okay with that. And lastly on this list is to hug an elephant, and um, yeah, maybe one day. 
Maybe one day. Maybe one day. I don't know why I spend so much time going over this, but I was talking about I was talking about current stuff. It's relevant. It's relevant. Oh yeah, I go to college. I'm a freshman at St. Albert College, and I'm trying to decide if I want to stay for three or four years. I'm leaning actually more towards four years now, as opposed to the three years I thought I was gonna stay, and I might be triple majoring. And I have a roommate named Paige, and we're rooming together next year. And then I have two friends named Fiona and Natalie and other friends. And um, yeah, and I did Nightingales. Currently, we are a major in interdisciplinary arts, but uh, I am probably gonna add a theater studies major because it's a lot of it's doubled up and then a philosophy minor because I need to do something for three years even um because I'm a year ahead already and then if I stay for four years I need to triple major pretty much in order to not be forced out of graduating early so I don't need a triple major I didn't I don't have to add the theater studies major but if it's only like an extra class and an extra capstone I'm gonna do it I'm starting to make a lot more friends though right now which is really nice um but also really sucky because it's like the last week of school i want to get more involved next year too so um yeah but this year was just kind of like i was just trying to like figure out what i wanted to do with my life and figure out if i wanted to stay here because i like for a lot of this year i was like considering transferring and then i didn't and so now i've actually come to terms with a lot of things and have started to enjoy a lot more aspects of going to school here and it's nice um, because I'm finding reasons to stay and I have way more reasons to stay now than I do to leave and it's even gotten to the point where I want to stay an extra year or like want to stay for the full four years so we'll see if I actually do that or if I can do that with money and all that kind of stuff but we'll see let's see what was in the past what we said last year and what we're gonna do the year after whoa I really, really, really want to do everything I can to hopefully make Theater in Northeastern Wisconsin like an actual like official nonprofit. So Theater in Northeastern Wisconsin um, is great. It's fantastic. Great concept. Great idea. It's not in my path of what I want to do anymore. It's a lot to maintain for not getting paid. It was a passion project at the time and it's still something that, you know, maybe one day I'd love to go back to, but overall it was a lot of work and it was just a lot of work coming into college with that. So I decided that I stopped doing things with that and maybe I'll come back to it one day, but for the time being, it is no longer in use. I really want to stage manage a show, like super badly. Okay. Yeah. I still have never stage managed a show. I assistant stage managed SpongeBob last summer. So, got that. We did that. We did that. Um, I really want to go back to South Dakota sometime. I really want to go back to South Dakota. I do. And I have, like, some weeks off. Or, like, a bit of time off. And I'm like, do I do it? Should I do it? Because I might. Okay, in my brain, I'm, like, exponentially, like, moving further and further along. Like, it's crazy. Uh, I definitely, for a while this school year, I felt a lot of, kind of, upsetness and just like sadness and the fact that I just didn't feel like I was doing as much this year as I did when I was in high school and that's just I I didn't like I didn't realize that that like was you know a normal thing to have. in terms of like progression in my career um and like where I could go like I have somewhat of a direction now um after college if I wanted to go down that path which is nice it took me until like last month or the month before that to like come to terms with everything and to finally not be so concerned about what my life is going to look like after college and it's so nice um and i just feel like i'm living in the present a lot more now and it's it's kind of cool it's kind of fun i want to continually like outdo myself um that's always a goal that i have whenever i do like any sort of performance monologue anything like that like Okay, after that conversation, um, I am outdoing myself. I always am. And just because I'm not doing as much physically doesn't mean that I'm not outdoing myself. I mean, I got those like IATSE things that I'm doing. I literally went to Chicago and did something with Second City. Um, I've done a lot more with improv than I ever have before in my life. Um, and you know, I'm gonna hopefully revamp that student org and I have done a lot. I I've done a lot this year. I have. And I don't give myself enough credit. Damn. 
leading into my next thing i really want to host like a, a fun little cabaret or something like that Ooh, that would be spicy i'm too busy i want to travel somewhere somewhere you gotta stop keeping yourself locked up and i did i went down to florida got covid came back up <laughs> uh but i still went through like 15 different states by myself that's crazy it's like 3,000 miles alone what was i thinking by uh by next year can you please do like lights for a show or like you i have done lights for so many shows since this video <laughs> including like working electro like what working like lights and like electrical lighting things for like Gear Van Hansen and the Jojo Siwa National Tour crazy stuff like I obviously didn't operate the light board because I wasn't like the third traveling light board operator or whatever but I did focus the lights and I did set them up and I did get to see them up close and then I also operate lights a lot here so yes I have done lights <laughs> um and I want to get better at them because I really enjoy them oh my gosh I want to go axe throwing someone take me axe throwing that's all I gotta say. Another goal. Um, I want to like climb a mountain. Like not like, well I mean eventually yeah, climb, climb a mountain or just like hike up a mountain like one of the Appalachians or one of the Rocky Mountains. I think that'd be so cool. Um, I want to go, I wanna go camping in my, I bought a Subaru. I wanna go camping in my Subaru sometime. That's why I bought a Subaru. Um, which is the most stereotypical thing in the world I know and that's why I bought it. Um, my most expensive joke yet. Thank you very much. I want to do an open mic night for like stand-up comedy at some point and like I've done a stand-up thing before but like I want to actually like go out and do it like that um because I'm not counting the last time <laughs> um so I want to do that what else do I want to do I want to find some more time to like read that'd be really fun just like read a lot more books I want to start that improv student org that'd be great I mean, I already talked about that earlier, but that'd be really cool. And I want to really, like, go back into, like, teaching those dance classes. I want to do more with Second City. I do. I really want to do more with them because that'll be really cool if I can get more into that. And I really want to do their conservatory program eventually. So um, I'm not going to rush myself into it because I'm 19 and I was already, like, the youngest person there last time. Um, and I have been for some of their classes. But that's okay. Or take something with UCB. We'll see. Just do a lot more with improv because I freaking love it. I just want to keep putting myself out there, keep being happy, keep doing what I want to do, and uh, just having a good time. Because things can get a little, a little tense and sad during the colder months, but I hope that I can be more aware of that next year and kind of better prepare myself for that. Right now I'm feeling great, but I know that come November, October, around there, it's gonna start to get a little crazy again. Unless if I'm a little bit more aware of it and know what I can do to kind of steer myself away from it at certain times. So that was this year, <laughs> this past year. I don't know why I do this at like April, May. It's a little bit of a weird time, but it's kind of nice now because it's like wrapping up the entire school year and freshman year, it happened. We're alive. We made it. Three more, two or three more years of college. And then we'll see where we go from there. But I'm in a very different place now than I thought I was going to be a year ago. Um, and knowing everything that I've gone through and everything that I actually haven't shared in this video and just lived instead, I am very proud of where I've gotten. And that's something that I need to definitely recognize a lot more. Um, and I'm excited to see where I go from here because I've already taken some big steps that I never thought I was going to have to take. And yeah, so here's to the next year and uh, we'll see how it goes. I hope everyone else is uh, doing great and uh, having a great time and uh, stay spicy, everyone. <laughs>